hello everyone today i am recording the video for uh, all the blog activities which i do so basically i have a lot of blogs strangler blogs tangrams uh, the duplos the wooden blocks and uh, my girls have outgrown most of them because now they are make formers and all those kind of stuff and so these are the activities which are mostly kind of you know upscaling the wooden blocks rather than throwing them off wooden blocks or any kind of blocks we have we have foam blocks plastic blocks wooden blocks tangrams duplos and small cubes which we get okay so these activities which are always ready in my house and i store them in this kind of bin and it is always on the my shelf kind of which they can't access and time when they are bored or they're not sleeping in the night they're long nap i bring out one of them so that you know they can be quiet in the night and keep playing and sometimes i slip one of these activities in our work boxes every day so without much discussion let's go what all i do so what's first thing is uh, these are the wooden small blocks which i uh, got from a local craft store and they were not very costly but i just uh, after sun we grew the bigger blocks i started working with smaller blocks for counting or like you know for manipulators as such and uh, they were fun they were very good touch to feel so then uh, they free play for sure but then i started working with these ones you know patterns or making a structure copying a structure kind of thing so you see there is no gap in between and there are different colors involved here green red yellow and basically she has to make this structure looking at it these all are all 3d structures okay you can make 2d also but okay we have progressed to 3d structures so basically it will stand up uh it be like this and then pop up top of it it has to be red block and then yellow like that she has to copy the structure so you see i have only two cards here reason being because uh, after these two cards she start free playing with it she doesn't have the patience to follow some all the cards so you can get these printouts also easily but i know my daughter will not play with all the 50 printables so i just made with handmade sketch pen and pencil and old paper old uh, this is i think stickers yeah stickers we get in this kind of packet use them and a busy bag activity for her second one is the same one but if you see there is a little advanced version in the sense there is gap between the blocks okay so like assumingly these are the blocks so like that they will not be sticking together like in this one okay there will be a gap between and the child has to you know uh level high because i has to estimate you know how far it should be it should not be so near it should not be that far that it doesn't stand so that way is a level up again there are only two cards in it and i have kept different colors because now my second one uses this ones because she is just 2 years old and my 3 year old uses these cards and these are uh, blocks one activity second one is a basic one which i use for my second year old now my first one is outgrown so this is the beginning of the patterns or basically starting to follow a pattern so these are the print tables but then i realized i can make it myself also so again there are the duplo blocks which we get and again she has to follow a pattern so because they were printable so they are not exact color but yes blue then yellow then red and then green and then she has to see it matching this is what we are working with my 2 year old matching the basic patterns this one is for my 3 year old i show you what we do so these are the triangular blocks only plastic triangular box which i got uh, in a value store 2 dollar store okay this is for my 2 year old the basic patterns kind of tangrams you can say but these all are triangular okay so it's more of a color matching so uh, i initially you can ask the child to put it like this or make the pattern using all triangle there is no confusion for a child i mean who just started making with blocks that you know tangram is like one bigger triangle a smaller triangle so you have to think about it here all triangles the same size so like that and then again a blue triangle has to stand here so like different kind of blocks you can make different patterns all hand drawn again a box and uh, again only i have put two cards there so that you know they don't lose interest while building and they can do free play after that now this one is a famous tangrams lot of tangram blocks and uh, some are colored here some are not colored so color up are the basic ones okay and these are 
so for color it's easy for a child to recognize okay but for this black and white you have to guess which is the bigger size so initially sanvi will place it and check and now she has outgrown so she can say it's a big one and a small one so she'll pick up a big triangle and then pick up a small triangle so now she doesn't place over it she just keeps in the front of it and uh, we make a fish so like this i think there are two black and whites one fish and one cat oh yes one fish and one cat and all these are the colored ones so color one is for color matching basically for two year old or those who are just starting the tangrams and the these ones are for little grown up who can you know just estimate the size and all that this one is again these blocks which i used here so i used uh, red green yellow here certain blue this is for sanvi this is a little complicated so what i do here is i have cut out different shapes okay different shapes it's a square a bigger triangle a smaller triangle parallelogram an irregular polygon and uh, okay hexagon and trapezium at a small triangle so the thing is i ask her how many triangles will make this shape okay so i explain to you. like this is a small triangle so this is the size okay so one triangle make this triangle now take a big triangle how many triangles do you need to make this big so like this one Oh, oh it doesn't go like that you have to think about it okay so like this one and this one so the two triangles make this triangle and then you can take the parallelogram and again you have to put them in a way that uh, it takes a lot of lot of hard work i'm telling you and then thinking okay like this and then there'll be two more triangles who will make this square this just using a giving them concept you know that a different shapes can be made using only triangles so same thing if we have different other shapes you can just make this kind of shapes and then you know tell the child to fill with it if you have hexagon shapes make uh, i mean how many hexagon you will you will need to make triangles so you have to do a little of manipulation yourself and see make different kind of shapes with the blocks you have and then cut it out and then present to a child but this is a difficult fun but good one for my 3 year old very mind boggling i would say she really loved it okay uh, this is one which i had you seen in earlier but this is again i'll explain to you so they are the old blocks okay the initial blocks my babies had uh, i didn't have to close till then so these are the basic taller uh, tree kind of uh, $2 shop we have there have these blocks so what i first so tell you see they are big blocks they are so they are dot stickers i have okay so and these are the small ones okay so you will see uh, i have written numbers over it so this i mean when my elder one was working over 20 to 30 numbers all right so like sequence wise so she has to put 27 then put 27 over it after 20 wave 25 go 25 will go below like this so like that will 27 28 29 like that will make and the second one is making the numbers so the single ones right they're the double ones so these also had numbers one five four okay so it's like okay make let's make 25 so she has to take two from here take a five from here and it's 25 okay now let's make 26 so let's put 26 over it okay let's make 26 now so you could two and then there would be somewhere six okay, be somewhere inside oh probably Mm. okay so like that make 26 like that we worked on the numbers so now this because it was just activity i made for numbers that time so now it goes to our busy bags the, uh, which i give it to her just for revision sometimes or just like a math activity for the workbox and manipulatives kids always love so one of the activities you can do with very basic blocks you have this one uh so you see they are these kind of wooden blocks i had okay like these different, different colored blocks so what i did uh i thought these ones dominoes and really loved them at least she was in love with them when she saw them so i thought i have blocks why not make it myself so simple take a block draw a line permanent markers and make dominoes see uh so these are the dominoes which i made so initial activity which uh, she still uh, gets confused when she's counting more than 10 number 10 dots and all so i just kept the number six here and the game activity which i 
plate with her which is in my busy bag as of now as soon she grows i'll make more activities for the dominoes but as of now we are just doing the basic one so it's like four six so which block has four and six so okay this number is four and six so you put it here now it is six and three so six and three all right so like this put in six and three so this is also goes to a busy bag which i put in the workbox so on and off and otherwise whenever i told you whenever kids are too much cranky and i want peace i use that this one is a new one which i have not introduced to her but this is a little advanced level so this again with blocks i took a print out of it because i thought i cannot make 3d structures myself so they are the simple 3d structure and these are again wooden blocks which are actually two dollar store blocks i had i'd use them in some activity and then uh, they were lying here and there so like these i have to make uh, 3d structures that's a basic one this is an intro but you'll see the complex structures like this okay and now this will challenge her imagination that you know how to make this structure like two blocks are here there'll be four blocks at the back but you can see only one and one will go to the top and like this so this activity which is a new one for my two-year-old and hopefully she'll enjoy it so that is one of the blocks and the last one is the foam blocks which you have seen in some activities of mine they're like old blocks i had and then i didn't know what to do with them they did a free play for them for a very long time but then i thought you know let me put in the busy bag because uh, these are the toys which they have played well played but now they don't have that much interest in them if i put them on the shelf they play for some 15 minutes and then they move to the next toy on the shelf so i just that's why these are being kept uh, in my uh, busy box so that they get it once in a blue moon enjoy it and still i don't have to throw them you know i still get some value out of these so that's why i call this all boxes my you know upcycling my blocks so again um i have hand drawn all this so uh, this is the uh, crayons i think a crayons that i colored it very pathetic drawing that's okay <laughs> so i just keep in front of her and i ask her using these blocks you know make the structures these are the complex structures for her and then like these two other complex structures for her level as of now and then there are some basics like tangrams you know you can get i mean uh, you can get a printout of it because everyone has different set of blocks so you can just make a structure yourself and then draw it on a notebook or a paper and i draw on the amazon boxes with a white sheet so like that so these are all the games i have made with the blocks i had which are not no longer longer played with my kids but once in a blue moon they get it and they really love playing with them so hope you enjoyed this video and uh, happy parenting bye bye